This easy envelope journal construction started with a recommendation in my feed from Treasure Books, and her concept is quite easy, quite simple, and I want to share it with my subscribers and show you how I utilized her suggestions. Now, she ran her envelopes through an embosser, which I do here, but I also wanted to take the four envelopes that I started with and add some acrylic paint to them and just create a little bit of a different look. So I am going to walk you through the steps of this envelope here. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And for those of you that do, I am very grateful you're here. That notification bell, of course, will let you know when I upload additional content. The first thing that I want to do to the four envelopes that I chose is lay down some color. I'm working with portrait, pink, and brown. And I want to add just a tiny, tiny bit of brown because I just want a little bit of a vintage, rustic look to that portrait pink. I'm just going to lay my envelopes on my gel press and create this kind of rustic, pinky, brownish envelope. And I have those completed. And now I'm just putting them together. So the envelope, you're just slipping one flap into the second envelope. And when you turn that over, you can see that will become the back of the journal. I'm going to ink around the outside edges and give it a little bit more. I'm using vintage photo, just giving it a little bit more of a vintage look. So this is the simple outside construction of the journal. I have the paint that I worked with, the browns and the pinks, and I did one in a more of a brownish color. So I'm just cutting this three inch circle and I'm cutting two. And I did this on cardstock and I'm gluing that circle to this flap, which is going to become the front of the book. So once again, it's just one flap inside the other and the free flap we are using to create the outside cover of this journal. And the cardstock on this three inch circular shape is giving us some structure, some depth. And it's also covering a Hallmark logo, which is a which is an added plus. Now there is a little spot that didn't take the ink great that it was the glue. So I just came back and, and glued, or not glued, but painted onto that as well. Now I'm just cutting a hole inside that three inch circle. And I'm gonna pull out my grommets. I purchased these at Michael's in the leather section. And it is a grommet setter that is very simple. I have never been able to set a grommet successfully with my crocodile. This thing works every time. Simple tool, simple way to set a grommet. Now I'm covering the inside flap of those envelopes with copy stained paper. And I'm just gluing my envelope around the edges. And that way I know I get it everywhere I need it to be. And I just am cutting away what I don't need on that flap. And again, vintage photo around the outside edge. These are the two additional envelopes that I'm working with now, and we're going to glue those inside the first two or the outside construction of our journal. So once again, we painted four envelopes and we're just fitting them down one inside the other. So these last two, we're just sliding in and gluing that flap inside. Now that space that is left on the first two, I'm just cutting a piece of coffee stained paper, tucking it down inside there to cover that, that inside area. I just think it looks nicer. It's not necessary, but in my opinion, it looks, it looks a little nicer to have that covered. It just gives it more of a finished look, in my opinion. 
and we'll do that on both both sides. And I'm using art glitter glue. I, that kind of tends to be my glue of choice for just about everything. I don't know why I use that glue more than other. Maybe it's the the size of the bottle. Maybe it's the quick drying property of the glue. But it it holds and and I really enjoy it. So I use that quite a bit. And now everything is is pretty much put together. And once we get everything tucked into the cover, the two envelopes that create the cover of this, and we tuck these other two in, we have that basic out construction of this journal together. So now I'd like to come back and just create a signature to sew inside. So I'm measuring to cut my paper in the appropriate size. And I have measured the journal size and I'm just cutting my paper about a half inch smaller on width and height. So I can fit that inside without it overlapping and coming outside of my cover. So I'm just going to cut up some coffee stain paper and maybe some uh, uh, scrapbooking paper. I'm just going to create the signature. Folding that in half, getting it ready to go. I have a piece of poetry here that I'm folding in. Some tracing paper that I hit when I was doing the envelope painting. And just a, a bunch of poppy stain paper and it fits inside here very nicely. So now I'm going to take my binder clips and secure this into place. And then I shall thread up my needle with some embroidery th thread. And I have chosen a brown just simply because my overall color scheme here is a portrait pink and a brown. And I'm measuring the center to make sure that I punch through right there in the center. And then I'm going to come up just about a half inch or a centimeter on either end to put the other two binding holes. And I am going to punch those holes with my needle with the thread in place. So we will punch and sew at the same time. I'm cutting the thread to about three times the width of this book which gives me a lot of extra. Probably cut the thread a little bit too long but I always like to have a little bit too much instead of not enough. And I'm just going to punch through right there in the center, go from inside out. <clears throat> and then I'll flip this book over and kind of eyeball up where I marked that other little hole with a pencil dot. And we'll punch back through there. Then I like to come back through the center again. And then come up on the other end. And then tie it off in a nice square knot right there in the center. Now there's two things you could do here. You can do as I do and just cut the cut it off and make it just a short little um, tail inside the book or you can make it a little longer and add a couple of little charms on the bottom. Either or would look nice. I chose to cut this off. So there you have <clears throat> the signature bound in. We have the grommet placed on the front. And I want to just take a piece of that brown that I created the circle with and add some journaling cards. And I'm just going to cut that out and glue it onto some poppy stain paper. So I'm not wasting any piece of that eight and a half by 11 inch sheet that I, that I painted in just a dark brown with a light pink look in it. <clears throat> this is going to create a couple of journaling cards for me. 
And we'll just trim that coffee stain paper off once we have, have it glued down. Ink around the outside edge with that vintage photo. And I have this little heart stencil that I'm just going to put a few hearts down the side of each one of these in the vintage photo as well. Use that crop -a dial to just round off those corners. And tuck that right down inside. Now this is the only embellishment that I am putting on this journal for right now. And it is just simply to have the insert inside those front covers. If I choose to go back and embellish this, it certainly could use a lot more of embellishment, but I could also gift it as a writing journal just as it is. This is a piece of scrapbooking paper that is double-sided that had the pre-designed tags on it or pre-designed cards on it. So I'm just cutting, cutting those out to add in here as well to add some additional color. It's a very Victorian rosy look with some light pinks and browns in it. And I thought it worked well with the motif that I have chosen for this particular piece. And we'll tuck those in. And to tie it off, I'm going to grab some burgundy or dark pink sari silk and just measure it to a length that will tie around it twice. And I'm just going to knot it on the end. And again, you could add charms here. You could add a bulb pen. You could, there are so many things that you could do with this little jewel. I just want to do something simple, quick, and easy that I can bake up some sugar cookies in a heart shape and put this in a, in a little packet with a couple of cookies and a nice little thing of coffee and Boom, you have a nice little Valentine gift if you want to drop them off to your neighbors or your friends. And that completes this little, little journal. So let's untie it and just take a quick little look inside. You have the little pocket created here on each side. Your journaling space with your signature two more pockets, and that is it. So quick, 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 and easy little journal for Valentine's Day, a little Valentine journal. And I decided, I was looking at those note cards that I cut out of that scrapbooking paper, and I decided that this one piece would look great on the outside cover of this book. So I'm going back in and just gluing that to the front. It gives a little more definition to the front of this envelope journal. And I like what that added. So now we're complete. And here is the other one that I did with embossing the envelopes. I had these uh, white and red envelopes with the little roses on the inside. So I just embossed them with some hearts and added in the signature like, like you saw. And that completes two little journals in a quick, quick and easy way. So again, the treasure book video will be in my description so you can watch how she did hers. She decorates hers too, so it might be worth worth your time. And this is what I did, just this painted version. So I hope you enjoyed. Please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to hop over to my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mix Media on Facebook, I would love to have you there. We are doing a weekly prompt and I appreciate your time. I appreciate you stopping by. And I hope you come back again soon. Bye for now.